What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now today, 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 we're gonna be discussing a couple of um pretty much camp battles that we got going on and what's gonna happen at defensive tackle of the second cornerback position. And then we also got a couple other ones in there. <clears throat> but before we get into this video, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. We're doing a hundred subscriber getaway. It's a very simple way to enter the getaway. Uh, pretty much we need 10 entries out of 100 subscribers. So I just need y'all to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, sub here, of course, and just comment down on a video or DM me on one of those social media sites saying, hey, Will, this is me. I got you followed on everything. Um, and the winner is going to get a brown jersey. I'm going to also follow you back and probably give you like a $25 gift card. Maybe you'll go get some food or something. But, you know, the next one, the next giveaway going to be 500 subs and then 1,000. So every giveaway, I mean, every like little milestone I pass, I'm going to do like a bigger giveaway and stuff like that. But to just getting into this video. So we got a couple interesting topics here. I'm just grab my notes real quick. Um, so the first one is speaking on one, Greg Newsom versus Martin Emerson. My predictions of it. And two, also... We're going to also get into who can get the last wide receiver spot. So these are going to be two separate videos. Um, so today we're going to be discussing who's going to get that last wide receiver spot. So um, pretty much, let's talk about it. So if we go into our depth chart, we got Coop. Now, mind you, if D-Hop gets here, this video is a waste of time. We got Coop, <laughs> uh, Tillman, Moore, DPJ, Godwin, I'm missing somebody. DPJ, Coop, Moore, Tillman, Godwin. I'm missing somebody. There's one more guy here. Oh, and David Bill, that'd be six. So who makes that last roster spot? Who gets that six wide receiver spot? Uh, David Bill, Hakeem Grant, uh, Hakeem Jakeem, I forgot how you pronounce it. David Bill, Jakeem Grant, or would it be like Donovan Peoples Jump? Not Donovan Peoples Jump. <laughs> What am I talking about? David Bell, Jakeem Grant, or Anthony Schwartz? Who gets that last wide receiver spot? We also got uh, Harley in there. I forgot his name, Harley Jr. Uh, but he can also get it, but I highly doubt that. Um, so if I was to do like betting eyes on it, I think minus like 500, minus 600 will probably be David Bell. And then the next highest odds will probably be Jakeem Grant. And then after that, um, Probably be like Schwartz or Harley or somewhere like that. Because you already got, like I said, Cooper, Tillman, DPJ, Godwin, Moore. Like, you know what I'm saying? You I doubt they keep seven wide receivers. If they do keep seven wide receivers, then it becomes a little bit more interesting. Now, if they go sign a guy like DeAndre Hopkins, then I would say they would keep seven wide receivers. And then next year, we'll probably roll out there with no Donovan People Jones and no, um, maybe not even a Coop. But not to here nor there. So um, I feel like the, the last wide receiver on the roster can depend on a lot of different things. Uh, one, special teams. You know, can Jakeem Grants being a pro bowler special teamer, can that overshine and put him over David Bill? David Bell was only a rookie, though, man. And he was really good in his college years. So I just wonder if that's going to go into effect. I mean, they didn't cut Schwartz last year, who was drafted at a similar spot. So I'd kind of be surprised if they did cut, uh, cut David Bell. That's why I say he'd be like a minus 600 for all you guys that's out there. And y'all know a little bit about gambling. Uh, but um, outside of that, like Anthony Schwartz, I think he's probably gone. Um, I think Jakeem Grant has a chance to make the roster, but it'd be between him and David Bell. Um, and Jakeem Grant tearing his Achilles, that kind of sucks for him. Um, now, the question is, can any of these guys go to the practice squad? Um, that's another interesting topic and another interesting question. Do you guys feel like, this is a good question to me, do you feel like Anthony Schwartz can go to the practice squad? Or do you guys think another team picks him up? Because outside of Cleveland, I wonder how he's viewed. Um, he was a third round pick. Um, he does run a four two two, and he is only in what his third or fourth year, third year. I think it's possible for him to get picked up by another team, despite us being so low on him. Um, 
because I mean, I'm not gonna say the talent is there, but for sure, on on numbers wise, four two two third round pick on a practice squad, you take that, you know. Um, so I don't know if Anthony Schwartz to be able to be practice squad, or if he wants to be practice squad. Um, another one, Mike Harley probably could go to the practice squad. Um, a couple of the other guys. Um, I don't think Marquise Godwin gets cut. Um, I think he'll probably have a good camp and end up making the team. You know, Moore's not getting cut. Cooper's not getting put up. DPJ Tillman's definitely not getting cut. Um, so, yeah, that'll be my thing. Um, trying to look at it. It's really not that many wide receiver positions available. And it'd be crazy of them to cut David Bell uh, when he showed more promise than Schwartz, and they kept Schwartz last year. So do you guys feel like in that scenario, and I don't know if you ever noticed, like with my videos, I don't write down a script. I don't, um, you know, jot down anything or, you know, have a certain flow. I just kind of answer the question on camera, out loud, thinking out loud. Um, so just thinking out loud, do you guys feel like it's more likely that Jakeem Grant uh, makes the team because another guy at a different position got cut down? Or do you feel like it's more likely that David Bell gets cut and Jakeem Grant makes the team? I think the only way Jakeem Grant makes the team is if we cut like a defensive tackle or a defensive end or we cut like a um, tight end, like in that scenario. I feel like that's the only way that he would make the team. But you guys let me know. Comment down below how y'all feel about it. This your boy Will. And I'm out. Hit that sub button. Peace.